Hi, this is Wesley Chun, engineer at Google, and happy to introduce you to the Google Slides API. It's new. We've never had an API for Slides before. Isn't that exciting? With the API, developers can write apps that create or update slide presentations. What does that really mean? Well, there are so many possibilities. I can only give you a few ideas. An API means you can take that data sitting in a database or a spreadsheet and make it more visually appealing. It also means that you can have a core presentation with placeholders for text and images, and then customize it in bulk for different customers. But before I let you noodle out some more great ideas out of that genius brain of yours, let's show you how to use the API first, so that when that brilliant scheme watches over you, you'll know exactly how to make it happen. In our demo, we'll have just a title slide template like what you see here. There are two placeholders, one for the presentation name, and the other up in the corner there is a rectangle where an image will go. You know, like a company logo. In our example, we're going to use a product icon. Now, there are other ways of getting images into a presentation. This is just one of the techniques. Both the icon and the template files are sitting pretty in my Google Drive folder right now. If you've guessed that this script uses both the Google Drive and the Google Slides APIs, then you're right on target. But before we get to the code, go to your project in the Developers Console to enable both the Drive and Slides APIs, then download the JSON credentials file. If you're new to developing using Google APIs, be sure to check out our earlier video walking you through this process. What's our script going to do? Well, copy the slide template, construct the request to replace those placeholders with the presentation name and product icon, and then call the Slides API to execute those requests. And then you'll end up with your desired new presentation. Now let's go to the computer and look at the code. Let's start with lines 1 through 20. This block of code includes the standard imports and boilerplate authorization code that we're probably already used to seeing. Now the things that are different to take note of in this script include lines 7 and 8, which are the file names for the slide template and product icon that are sitting in our main drive folder. Lines 9 through 12 represent the authorization scopes to be able to copy files in Google Drive, plus have read-write access to Google Slides presentations. Now this is the first episode where we're using more than one Google API simultaneously, so we should expect code to look like this, where you have multiple scopes in this section. Now I choose to have multiple strings, each one representing an individual scope, but you could also put all the scopes in one giant string, which are space delimited. To me, this is easier to read. Then lines 18 through 20 are where we're creating the service endpoints to the APIs using the same signed HTTP client. On lines 22 to 25 is where we use the Google Drive API to find the template file and copy it, saving the ID of the new presentation that's created. On lines 27 to 33 is where we use the Slides API to find that rectangle placeholder where the image will go. Lines 35 to 39 are where we use the Drive API to find the image file and get the secure URL where it can be downloaded. That's how the Slides API creates images and presentations. All of the real work is in lines 41 to 53, where we're putting together our set of requests for the Slides API. The first is Replace All Text, where the presentation name replaces the text placeholder that we had in the template. The second is Create Image, to replace the image placeholder with a product icon using that secure URL we just talked about. Remember earlier how we grabbed that rectangle where the image will go, you know, the placeholder? Well, we use its dimensions so that the product icon is resized and drops right over that rectangle placeholder. Finally, the last request is delete object because once we have our product icon in place, we don't need that image placeholder anymore. And the last lines of code down at the bottom are where we send all of these requests to the API and then let the user know we're done. Now let's run this script, which we call slides template. Now you can use Python 2 or 3, it doesn't really matter because this script works with both versions without any additional code. Assume that we've run our OAuth 2 authorization flow and accepted the request, and you can see the output from the print calls until it's finished. And now all you need to do is confirm that the new deck exists in your Drive folder with all of the substitutions. And if you click on the new presentation in Google Drive, you should have something that looks like this. Now you have an idea of what the Google Slides API can do in less than 60 lines of code. If you want a deeper dive in today's code sample, check out the blog post. If you want to start with an easier example, check out the Quick Start, which is available in Python and other languages. If you're ready to wrap your head around how the API works in general, check out the first link. To see the JSON payloads for common operations you perform with the API, go to the second link. And to go straight to the API reference docs, hit up the third link. The next step is up to you. It's a green field out there. The Google Slides API is just waiting for your next big idea. Go out and build that awesome app. 
and be sure to subscribe to our channel and tune in again next time. This is Wesley Chen from Google, and we'll see you soon.